Microsoft Outlook 2010. Tasks. One of the other great areas of Microsoft Outlook is the ability to create and manage tasks. Once again, to get tasks, we go to our navigation pane and click Tasks. Now a task is different from an appointment or a meeting in that a task does not have to be done at a specific time. It can have a specific due date or a time it needs to be completed by, but the actual action item does not take up a specific section of time. For instance, if I was going to clean my desk at my office, that would be a task. However, if we were having an office cleanup session from 10 to 11, that would be a meeting. And a meeting as opposed to appointment because it involves other individuals from inside the company. So we're going to go ahead and create a new task. Simply go to your new task button. In my task, since I just used it, is clean my office. Now I can give it a start date and I can choose today for my start date and I'll give it a due date of two days from now. I can also say the status of it. Well, I haven't started yet, so I'll leave it at that, but there is in progress, completed, waiting on someone else or deferred. I can also give it a priority level and I can also say what percent completed is. By hitting the spinner button up, it will move in 25% increments. However, I could also come in here and just type a percentage. But as I said, it, I haven't started yet, so we'll leave it at not started. I can add a reminder, and by default, it's going to give me a reminder at 9 a.m. on the day it's due. If I want, I can also come up to my tab and choose details. I can then say when it was completed, the total amount of work, actual work, any mileage associated with it, billing information, and the company associated with it. Well, this is just cleaning my desk, so I really don't need all that, but it's nice to know it's there. Also, I can categorize this, and this also probably belongs under personal, so I can categorize it as personal. I can also give myself a recurrence of this so that I maybe my desk doesn't get so dirty if I want to make this a monthly task, or if you have a report that needs to happen every month, you could do that as well. And again, I can assign it private if I would like or not. A nice feature of tasks also is to assign a task. I can assign this task to someone. And when I assign a task to someone, I can just say who to send it to. Well, really, I shouldn't assign my task to anyone, so I'll leave that alone and choose Cancel Assignment. Assigning tasks is a great function, and you can track the completion and status of that task through your email and task list. Once I'm finished, I'm going to go ahead and choose Save and Close. And here it is at the bottom, Clean My Office. I can simply click on the little checkbox and mark it as completed. I'm going to deselect that and say it's not completed. And if I look over here at the to-do bar on the right-hand side, if I scroll down under this week, I can see Clean My Office. And that's there. If I go to Mail, I still see that in my to-do bar. So all tasks will appear in your to-do bar on the right-hand side of your screen. You can also go to your calendar, go to your view tab, and choose daily task list. And I'm going to choose normal, and I can see that on the bottom of my screen. So tasks are very well integrated into many of the different functions of Microsoft Outlook. And that is tasks in Microsoft Outlook 2010.